This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. Problem number 22 from the 10B, which is number 21 from the 12B. Let S be the set of circles in the coordinate plane that are tangent to each of the three circles with the equations x squared plus y squared equals 4, x squared plus y squared equals 64, and x minus 5 squared plus y squared equals 3. What is the sum of the areas of all circles in set S? Okay, so this problem, it's basically coming down to, it basically comes down to whether or not you're able to notice exactly how many circles there are. So in this diagram right here, I have four of the circles. Um, that's not all of them though, right? We can actually just flip or reflect each of these circles over um, to get more circles that work. For example, this blue one right here, we can flip this over the y-axis or over the x-axis to get a circle that looks something like this. And it would be tangent to all three circles. Okay, but what is the pattern that we have to find? Well, notice that first of all, all the circles, they can't be externally tangent to circle to this biggest circle, right? And this big biggest circle, let's draw in the lines, the radiuses, the radii. So this is eight, this is two, and this is root three. Okay, so they can't be externally tangent to the biggest circle because if they were, they wouldn't be tangent to the inner circles. So they have to be internally tangent to this biggest circle. Now, there's eight of these circles. I have four of them drawn here. So either they're internally tangent to the circle with radius two and externally tangent to radius with circle root three or vice versa, or it's internally tangent to both circles or externally tangent. So all four combinations times two because we can flip it over the y-axis. So basically what it comes down to is, well, you're internally tangent to a big circle, and you're either internally tangent to the circle with radius 2, or you're externally tangent to it. So four times you're going to be internally tangent to it, and four times you're going to be externally tangent to it. For example, this red circle right here. Now, there's going to be four of these types of red circles, and all of them actually end up having the same radius. Having the same radius. So if we draw the center of the circle, let's say it's somewhere right here, right? Like what ends up mattering is we can connect this, this straight line. So this should be a straight line that we have. Um, let's say it's something like this. Okay, so if this is two, and then this part right here, well, that's the radius of the big circle. So that's going to be eight. Well, the diameter is 10, because remember, all these circles are tangent to each other. So if you connect their centers like that, it's going to be, it's going to go to the center. So if the diameter is 10, well, then you have four circles of radius, of radius 5. Okay. And what if it's externally tangent to the circle of radius 2, like this blue one right here? Well, then... You have the same thing. You can draw this radius of the big circle. So now you subtract this two. So that's going to give you three right here and three right here. So you're going to have four circles of radius three. That's it. We have eight circles. So that should be enough to solve the problem. What are the areas of these eight circles? Well, it's going to be 5 squared plus 3 squared because it's pi r squared times 4 pi. That's 25 plus 9, 34 times 4 pi, which gives you 136 pi. The answer is E, and we're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.